Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Cooking with TK. Today, I made some delicious Southern style cornbread chicken and dressing. And I want to show you guys how I made it for those who don't know how to make it. Now, right now it's hot, it's fresh out of the oven. Um, I gotta let it sit. But let's go ahead everyone and let's get into this video. Today I am going to make some chicken and dressing and here I am going to cook my chicken. I'm going to put this in my oven. I'm not going to boil this on top of my stove. So I put some seasoning in here. Just some basic um, black pepper, seasoning salt, garlic, onion powder. I put some thyme some rosemary, I have some onions, I have some celery chopped up, okay? And I added a little oil. I use some olive oil, you can use butter, and I'm going to cook this chicken for my dressing. And oh, I put some chicken bouillon in here as well. One chicken bouillon and whatever liquid comes off, I am going to use that part as broth. So you know it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for chicken to cook, and these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, okay? Want y'all to look into the pot. See, I got all that stuff in there. Okay, so now right. I'm gonna get ready to make my cornbread. Let me show you, I'm not, um, using the regular cornmeal I got I had a, a box of this Christie's Southern Cornbread and Muffin Mix so this is what I'm gonna make and yes I am gonna bake it in a skillet because my beautiful by Drew Barrymore skillet can be used in the oven okay so that's what I'm about to make and it causes for the dry package mix two eggs, a cup of milk, and three-fourths cup of butter. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mix this together. Let me mix this together, like so. Okay, so here's my cornbread mix in my skillet. I told y'all I was gonna cook it in my skillet. So, yeah, I'm about to put this in the oven. In my oven cooking right alongside the um, chicken, which you know the cornbread is gonna be done before I the chicken. I want my cornbread to be drier than uh, regular because I am using this cornbread the same day. Instead of cooking it for 20 minutes, I'm gonna cook it for 25 minutes at 375. I already have my bell pepper, onion, and celery chopped. Here I have um, one small bell pepper. I cut these up really, really small because there are a lot of people, they don't want to see the green, but I do. So, you know, I'm going to let them know that it's in there, which are my kids, but they don't mind. And I have some onion. Okay. That right there is a small onion chop. And I have, I mean, three stalks of celery. And I chop these up really, really small, as y'all can see. But this is enough for some cornbread dressing, okay? It's gonna be really, really flavorful and really, really good. Because I keep things in my pantry, I don't have to go out and buy um, some cream of celery. And I have the cream of chicken and mushroom mixed together. And these are the only two cans that I will need. I don't need any more. I don't need too much, okay? This is perfect. And these cans are, ten, this one is 10.5 ounces. And that's from Walmart. Of course, you can find this at Walmart. And this is a 10.5 ounce can as well, 
okay? So I have this herb season classic stuffing. It has white and wheat breads blended with herbs and spices. So I don't have to worry about toasting up any bread. I had this in my pantry as well. And I found this at Walmart, y'all won't believe me, for 88 cents, okay? Yeah, at Walmart for 88 cents. So we're gonna use this and our cornbread to make our Southern cornbread dressing. If you guys wanna call it stuffing, you can. Chicken and stuffing. But down here in the South where I'm from, we call it Southern cornbread chicken and dressing. This is the sage that I'm using. I'm just gonna chop my sage up, okay? Use as much or as little sage as you like. I just need to have a hint of sage in my dressing. I don't like it to overpower my dressing, but I do like the flavor of sage. So I'm gonna chop some of this up and I'm gonna put it in this container, okay? So I'm using fresh sage, y'all. So this is the amount of sage that I will be using. I would say this is about two teaspoons. Um, maybe three teaspoons of sage so this is fresh sage and i did rub it in my hands so that the sage can release the oils and this is what i will be using in my cornbread dressing my southern cornbread chicken dressing y'all see that okay so this is what my cornbread looks like out of the oven in my skillet Okay, so these are non-stick skillets. So that's why you see it away from the edge like so. So what I'm going to do is I am going to crumble my cornbread up. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. Then I'm gonna crumble my cornbread up. And I have already measured out half a pack of the herb stuffing seeds, the herb season stuffing mix, which is white bread and wheat bread and i'm only using about six ounces six ounces okay so this is the chicken my chicken thighs that i used and the broth that it made in the oven i did add a little butter to this once it got out of the oven i just picked up a scoop because we need some fat for our broth and it is so delicious y'all oh my goodness this is perfect the perfect broth okay so this is the broth that i'm gonna use and i think the amount that i have in here is just enough broth because i will be using my cream of chicken okay and um half of that cream of celery i don't think i'm gonna need it all but yeah this broth is just enough okay so this is what my broth looks like after it has been strained y'all look at all of that flavor mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nothing but flavor on flavor on flavor and y'all know over here in my kitchen at cooking with tk i cook everything over here with love and that's what i want y'all to do when you cook cook for your family with love they will appreciate it and this is exactly four cups, y'all. Let me turn it around. See that? Exactly four cups. Hey, everybody. So, we are about to get ready to make this Southern cornbread chicken and dressing. Okay, so I have showed y'all the steps of me making the chicken and the cornbread and my chicken broth. So here I have my chicken broth. I have some of the cornbread, cause I'm gonna make two pans. So I'm just gonna show you one small pan. Here are our veggies for our Southern cornbread dressing. We have bell peppers, onions, and celery. We have some breadcrumbs, you know, the stuffing breadcrumbs. Here's some of the chicken chopped up. This isn't all of it. This is just some of it. Because remember we're making separate pans, but this is gonna be one small pan. 
And here I have half a can of the cream of chicken and half a can of the cream of celery. Okay, so here are the seasonings. I'm going to use some seasoning salt. I'm going to use some black pepper. Remember, we are going to use some poultry seasoning and some sage, okay? So we have sage, poultry seasoning, black pepper, seasoning salt. That's all the seasoning you will need for your Southern cornbread dressing. And I'm not using butter, but I am going to use two eggs. The reason why I'm not using butter is because I added butter to my chicken broth once it was done. So let's get to mixing everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna pour my cornbread in. The reason why I put it in the cup measure so you guys can know that there's two cups of cornbread crumbled up, okay? I'm also going to add in, this is about a, two cups of the bread crumbs. So we have those two ingredients in there. If I need any more um, bread crumbs, anything, I add it in, okay? Next, I'm going to add in my chicken. This is about a cup and a half, two cups of chicken as well. Try to make it equal parts. Okay, so next, I am going to add in my bell peppers, my onions, and my celery. Now, some people don't like bell pepper. Some people don't like celery. But I'm telling you, you need those flavors so you can have flavor on flavor on flavor. Say it with me, TK family. Flavor on flavor on flavor. Okay? So, I'm gonna combine this before I put my wet ingredients in. And my seasoning, I'm gonna put that in last because there's seasoning in the chicken broth. And remember, it's already salt in your um, cream of chicken and cream of mushroom and in your chicken broth, okay? Okay, so let's add this chicken broth in. And you want it to be kind of like an oatmeal consistency. So we're going to add in half of the chicken broth first. And then if we need the rest, we're going to add the rest in. But we got to add our cream of chicken in and our cream of mushroom. And we don't want it to be sloppy, too soupy. But go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So that it can be ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add in this other broth, because it wasn't too much. And remember, I'm not adding um, butter in, because I added it to my broth so that it can melt when, once it came out the oven. Okay, so go ahead and mix this together like so. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my cream of mushroom soup with the chicken, cream of mushroom chicken and cream of celery. I use the half a can of each to start with. If I need more, then I still have my other half of the can. Cause you just want an oatmeal texture. You don't want it too soupy and you definitely don't want no dry cornbread dressing. So mix that really, really well. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my sage. I'm using about two teaspoons of sage. Sage is very potent. Be careful how you use it, okay? Here I have two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. Because remember that stuff and mix has seasoning in it, so you don't have to go overboard. And you are going to taste it. Now, the star of the show is the black pepper. Black pepper makes your dressing, okay? 
along with your chicken broth. So I am using three teaspoons of black pepper, okay? So that's three teaspoons of black pepper. And I'm gonna add in about three teaspoons of seasoning salt as well, okay? So now we're going to mix this together and the eggs will be last because we gotta taste it to see what it tastes like. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my eggs. It's one egg. Two eggs. And three eggs. I tasted it and I like my seasoning y'all, so I don't need to add any more seasoning to this. Cause I had a good flavoring with my chicken broth cause I made it from scratch and it already had seasoning. And remember, you do not want to over season your food. You want it to be just right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix this together and make sure you already preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a minute, we're gonna place this in our pan. Okay, everyone, so make sure that you grease your pans. I use some um, nuts, the baking spray, okay? So you can use vegetable oil, canola oil spray, or whatever you got. You can melt some butter if you like, use some baking grease. So I'm gonna use two pans, okay? So these pans are small and they are Gosh, I can't see the bottom with the size down, but these pans are small. I'll put it on the screen once I figure out what, what size is this say, Trey? Can you see? Oh, that's my son, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting the um, cornbread dressing, the chicken cornbread dressing into these pans and spread them out. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes, okay? So half is going in this pan and the other half is going in the other pan, okay? And remember, you want a oatmeal type texture, if you guys can see, okay? You don't want too liquidy in your pan. So let me spread this out. And I hope you guys follow this recipe on how to make some Southern style chicken and cornbread dressing. Some of y'all call it stuffing up north, but this right here is dressing. It's a difference between Southern cornbread dressing and stuffing, but I can tell you one thing, it is so darn delicious. Y'all see that? It has a smoother texture than stuffing. Okay. Make sure that you shake it even in the pan. Okay, y'all see that? So, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so, I'm back, I just just took this out of the oven. It's only been sitting on this counter for about four minutes. I want to give it time to rest, but I want to show you guys something. Okay. You see here on the edges of your cornbread dressing, you got to get it brown. Once it starts browning, you let it get a little golden brown on the top, and that's when you know that it's done, okay? Because everybody oven isn't the same. Ovens do vary. So even though I said 350 for 30 to 45 minutes, some ovens are hotter than other ovens and some are cooler. So therefore, you know, but you want the brown on the edges. Everybody like that brown. And then if you feel like it is ready to come on out, take it out, but 
For me, I let mine go on the broiler for about a minute or two, just to get a little crisp on the top. That crispiness and then the softness in the middle of your cornbread dressing is what makes some delicious chicken southern cornbread dressing. What chicken and dressing, southern cornbread dressing. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. So even though it's not completely cool, let me go ahead and show y'all how it looks, okay? Make sure y'all can see this. I got it on my um, little pot holders. Oh, it smells good. See, it's moist. Y'all see how moist it is? It's not too moist, and it ain't too dried out. Let me turn it around. And you can see that chicken, and you got that crust on the edge. And that's a lot of people go for that. Y'all see it? Mm-hmm. Delicious Southern style chicken and dressing. I hope y'all like this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments down below. Stay tuned to my channel. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Stay tuned to your girl channel for another great video. Peace. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day.